event. Hey, um, Kevin, how are you? Good. Uh, I had some questions about what we talked about in history class today. Sure, what are they? So, Hannibal and the Carthaginians crossed the Alps on the elephants, and then what happened? Well, they ravaged the countryside up and down from one end to the other until the Romans met up with them at the Battle of Zama. Uh, so, up here. And that's what ended the Second Punic War? That, and they defeated them, and then stayed quiet for about 50 years. Oh, all right. That makes a lot more sense now. Okay, good. Thanks for the help. No problem. But I gotta get going anyway because I have an important meeting. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Be good. Alright, all right. good night. Oh, are you alright? You need help with that? No, no, it's alright. I'm, I'm good. D. Montalivo, 950, 56 North Street, Kenilworth. Huh. Hey, Jack. Ah, uh, hey, Kevin. Did you hear about that murder in Kenilworth last night? No, I didn't. What happened? Some guy walked into a restaurant, pulled out a knife, threw it across the room, and killed someone. It's happened in other places, too. The police think it could be related. That's weird. Mr. Baines dropped his briefcase after school yesterday. And there was a piece of paper in it that had an address in Kenilworth on it. And there was a knife in that briefcase. Oh my god, Jack, do you think he could have done this? No way, that's just a coincidence. Mr. Bain's been teaching for like 30 years. There's no way he's a killer. I'm telling you, it had to be him. No way. It has to be. I'm gonna go talk to the administration before something else happens. Yes. London, 4 o'clock. I'll try to be there. Mr. Dixon, I have something really important to talk hold, to you about. Hold, hold, sorry. Please, you know, uh, it's alright, don't knock. This must be important. What is it? How can I help you? It's about Mr. Baines. What about him? Did you hear about that murder in Kenworth last night? I seriously think he might be behind it. <sighs> Kevin, this is uh, completely ridiculous. Uh, the man who committed the murder last night is a serial killer. He's a psychopath, not a school teacher. But Mr. Dixon. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like I'm taking no. matters into my own hands. Jack, I'm going to Mr. Bain's house. I need to get some sort of proof of what he's doing. It's not ridiculous. I know it's him. Listen, do you want to come or not? Suit yourself. I'm going anyway. Morning. No, I didn't see him during gym class. I think he's sick. Oh, really? He seemed fine yesterday. I think he's just trying to avoid the history test. Gotta go. Alright, see ya. What if Kevin was right about Mr. Baines? No. What if he... What if he is the actual serial killer? And he caught Kevin last night. Murdered him so he couldn't tell anyone. <sighs> but, but I still don't know if that's true.
Ninja one here. I came here to find out what's going on. I know about the murders in Kenilworth and that piece of paper and the knife. Piece of paper from Kenilworth? The piece of paper with the address from Kenilworth on it. I went to Kenilworth to see a friend of mine from college. I had to get a new address, a new way to get there because of that murder that you're talking about. It was all closed down. Well, what about the knife? Please. I had a tooth removed. Do I have to tell the whole world? I needed it to cut my lunch. It's embarrassing. Well, then where's Kevin? Why hasn't he been in school? How do I know? You know the flu was going around. Did you call his house? Well, no. Uh... Well, you know what? I think you need to leave my property. It's really inappropriate for you to be here. Please go. I'm sorry, Mr. Baines. All right. What if Kevin was right about Mr. Baines? He is the actual spirit. But I still don't know that's true.